Peugeot 208 faulty look at that in focus sir that one there nitrogen oxide sensor P2200 fault in communication with the NOx can't get it to focus but there so we'll see what these come up with I think it's been checked with a Foxwell at the same faults so now Check the sensor. Okay, now I'm under the car looking at the module. One wire goes to the NOx sensor. The NOx sensor, I mean. And it works. Right, that's going into here. That's got a bunch of wires going into it. So there'll be like a heater, and two of those will be for the heater. The other two will be for reading it. Maybe a temperature sensor in there too. Not quite sure. How many wires is that? Three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wires. Eight wires. The other side of it that goes to the car has only got four wires. Got the two out ones that are powered on ground. Right. And they're showing it's battery voltage, ignition voltage. The center two are two and a half volts. Both of those center two. Maybe start the car up and see what happens. Yeah, I'm gonna light the test light on the outer two. But that's got a 21 watt bulb in it. That's on those two added to. I guess the other two must be communication, the two center ones. So I'll check them for a signal. There's like a canvas signal there, starting at, if I get two volts per division, so it's just over two volts, going up to four volts. And that's coming from the wire that's next to the, the power wire up here okay so the second one in and I'll go to the next one along and see what happens now I'm at the next wire along and the signal's coming down from the two and a half volts and it's coming down to about I know what the minimum is there maybe it's, so, it's about one volt some two volts per division. And that's in the one that's nearer to the ground. So it's like I've got communication to this. I can slow the time down and see if it looks different. Slow it back down. And move it across a bit. Yeah, that's like a canvas signal and I've got the power in the ground. So it's not communicating, it has to be a faulty module. And the thing is the sensor looks like it's part of it. I don't think it unplugs. We'll get a better look at that by the exhaust sensor, NOx sensor. I don't think I can take it off here. It's all part of it. So if I've got power in ground, powerful enough to light that that's an indicator light that I put in my test light for a motorbike. So it's powerful enough to light that. And I've got the power on the ground. I'll switch it to the other one again. Get a close-up signal like that. Okay, there's a close-up on the top one. Definitely like communication lines to this module, powered and ground. 
is the part number of the module. I don't think it's worth me checking any of the other wires if this plug doesn't come off. So it's getting controlled. We know it's getting the power in the ground. The waveform looked exactly the same, just checking the wires with it disconnected. Well, more or less the same anyway. Maybe not quite so many uh, bits of information getting sent, but they're still roughly the same. This doesn't look like it comes off here, the side that goes to the sensor and the exhaust. If that's the case, it's got to be faulty.